nature. What a matter of nature. And I'm not sorry. Bitch, don't hang your shit on me about before the break, I was talking about, I was referring to the fact that there are sometimes people in your life who are uh, friends, good friends even, you're close to them, and um, yet they hang around people that you just cannot stand because those people are mean to you or hate you or don't like you. And so you have, that friend is in between, caught between two sets of friends, or they're caught between you and this other set of friends. And so what does that person do? Does that person have to be no longer be friends with them, or do they have to still be friends with you? And what is the what is the choice that they're to make, really? And it puts them in an odd, in a difficult position, absolutely. Um, but this is how I see it. It really depends on what the friends of the friend are doing. If, for example, the friends of the friend are simply people you just don't like and get along with, that's one thing. They people you just don't click with, and you don't have anything in common or whatever, and you just don't like each other. Well, of course, that middle friend should not have to give up their friendship with them to be friends with you. However, if, for example, you're friends with someone and those friends of theirs are homophobic, bigots, racist, um, just really horrible, disgusting people, then in my in my book, in the way I live my life, yes, that middle friend has to either make a choice to be their friend, to be their friend or be your friend. And the reason for that is, is because I have a very high bar for... Uh, loyalty, because that's the, that's the kind of person that I am. So when I'm friends with somebody, I'm intensely loyal and intensely their friend through and through. That's just how I am made. I've always been that way. And I expect nothing less than the same in return. And sometimes it, that expectation is too much for some people to actually be able to meet. And I get that, but that's why I have so few friends. I have very few friends in my life, my real life that um, I have a handful of really close friends. And the reason I have so few is because I expect no less from my friends than what I give to them. I don't expect any more, but I don't expect any less. So because I have such a high – it's very hard to find people that, that, are that, that kind of quality that you can actually be friends with and actually uh, meet that, that bar. So recently on VTR, and I'm sure those of you who know me know who I'm speaking about – um, I was friends with another host on here, and she um, and I were good friends, and I, I still like her. I still think about her and think that she's you know, a cool chick and everything from what I know, but um, she was friends with a bunch of people who on BTR cannot stand me, and I cannot stand them because they're always calling me horrible names. Um, so I told this person that I don't appreciate that, and that she – well, first, this is what I don't understand. How can someone that is your friend be so close to that kind of person and not be that kind of person themselves? That's that's where I have the disconnect personally. So how do you remain friends with somebody who, who, who says they're not, for example, racist or says they're not homophobic or whatever and hasn't given you any indication that they are, yet they entertain these people, they laugh at their jokes, they hang around all the people on BTR that are actually – um, that are actually those things. So to me, it, it doesn't make any sense. To me, this person is either pretending to be my friend or they really do agree with everything that people are saying and just trying to, I don't know what they're trying to do, what, what the motivation is. But whatever the case is, I don't agree with that. And I don't live my life that way. I live my life very openly and honestly. And if you can't do the same, then you can't be my friend. Um, and I would never, for example, let's turn it around here. For example, if I had a friend 
who was, let's say they were black, and this black friend uh, and I were really close friends, right? And I had a bunch of friends I've been close with for a while, and all these people were always call, calling this uh, black friend of mine the N-word, always calling this black friend of mine um, horrible names and, and, and saying how disgusting this person is and how horrible they are and blah, 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 blah. And I'm saying, oh, <laughs> that's so funny, ha, 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 and just laughing about it, laughing it off, right? Um, laughing about it and just saying, oh, that's so funny to them. But when I'm with my friend, I'm saying, well, that's just horrible the way they treat you. Oh, my God, that's just a horrible thing. Oh, my God, they shouldn't be saying that. And then my friend's saying to me, well, why don't you – why are you friends with them? Why are you friends with them if they're saying – they're calling me the, the N-word in the first place? Why are you friends with me? And so that is why I – um, and no longer friends with that person. It's exactly the same situation. And that's not just on BTR. I've had friendships like that in the real world as well, where I have had friends that have done the same type of thing to me and have tried to be so completely, um, you know, one way with me when they're with me and then a completely different way when they're their friends. And so that is not a real friend. And that, to me, is the definition of haters. All of the things I've mentioned to you so far are haters. And someone, even someone like that friend of mine who did that and continues to do that today, um, I consider that to be a hater. Because honestly, if you really care about somebody and you actually honestly don't believe in the things people are saying about that person, then you wouldn't entertain them in the first place. That's what I think. So what do you think? Feel free to call in the number 323-843-6160. I'll be right back. 